All right, people, let's get into it real quick. This video is going to be on how to load drum sounds into the MPCX VST plugin. Okay, first thing, we're going to open the plugin. I'm going to show you real quick what's really important. When this screen comes up, just click OK. One of the modules that was used to make it was not registered. So it's looking for that because the website for that module that was used is shut down. But the plugin works fine. So just click OK. Plugin will open. OK again. It's looking for a sample that I put in here before. Um, this is what you want to do. So this screen right here where my cursor is, is one of the most important screens. It affects each drum pad. Each drum pad you can load two samples on. 16-bit only, not 24-bit, it'll crash. If you have any 24-bit samples or drums or anything, convert them to 16-bit before you load it in here. So this is what we're going to do. The pad selector matches up with the pads. So I want to work on pad number seven. There's a kick already here. Now I'm going to make you guys a list of what keys on the keyboard to trigger the pad. Right now I'm hitting key Z and this is key X. So one more thing. The pad that you select, the numbers are running behind. So actually, number pad seven, the first row is four, the second row is eight. Number seven would be six. And number eight would be seven up here in the pad selector. So if I select seven, it's gonna be this pad. See, it lights up. So always remember, in the pad selector, it's one number behind the pads. This right here is the pad selector. So right now, I'm going to work on number six. I got it highlighted. I can load a drum here. Once I load the drums, if you're in Windows, you see this right here, guys? This changes everything. Now when I click right here, change the folder style. When I click on the sound, I get a play button from Windows. I can play right through the sounds and audition them. If you don't click this folder, you won't be able to audition the sounds until you load it in. So click that, change the folder style, and I'm going to change this drum. Kind of like that one. It'll load here. Give it a second to load. There we go. And here's the sound. It's mixing. This knob mixes between the two sounds that are loaded here. So if I pull this knob this way, I get the one that just loaded. If I pull it that way, I get the one that's already there. You can mix two sounds. Right here is the pitch. Real quick and easy. Hope you guys understand that. I'm going to run through it one more time. You got pads one, two, three, and four. There's four on each one. Down here, five, six, seven, and eight. Pad number seven will actually be pad, I mean, pad eight will actually be seven in the pad selector. So if I want to add something to number seven, Change that. Boom. Sound here, and I can 